friends, this is Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my, well, one of my big vertical uh, happy planners, and we're going to be planning for the week of July 19th through 25th, and I use this planner for um, my faith, so I decorate it I have a pretty like set way that I decorate it. Sorry, there's something on the page here. Um, I have a pretty set way that I decorate it. I usually just put a little bit of decoration, boxes, one box on every day, and then a box in the sidebar and some more decoration over there. So let's go ahead and take the pages off the discs. So for today, I was trying to figure out what book I wanted to use because I feel like at this point I have so many and I realized that I haven't used this book at all. I bought this book and I loved it because of the colors. Like they're so, I don't know, they're just like, they're dark and, but like they're not like moody or anything. They're just like, they're kind of comforting. And I like that. And I kind of want to do that in my faith planner for this week. So, um, yeah, I figured since I haven't used them, I might as well use them. Also, I have this green grid washi that I think is going to match pretty well. And then I also just grabbed this white grid washi just in case. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I have those to the side as well. So I want to start by finding, okay. So I want to start with a sidebar box and I just have to decide which color I want. Um, it's kind of a weird Maybe not like a weird color combo, but like a different color combo. I kind of want to do like green and yellow. So let's really quick make sure I have enough boxes for that. So yellow, two yellows, a green. Mm. Also, I'm going to use these because I think they're gorgeous. But if I'm going to use these, then I guess that means blue and green. So let's just do blue, green, and yellow. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to use this green one because I don't think there's as many green boxes in here as there are the other ones. So I'm going to start with this. Sorry, the book almost fell. Um, and I'm going to put it over here in the sidebar. And because this is a big planner, even though this is like made for a teacher planner, which is differently shaped, it's still going to fit over here in the sidebar pretty well. Oh, wow. That was pretty straight. Okay. Go me. Um, Okay. And I don't necessarily want it to say, don't forget. So I might try to find like something to put over that. Hmm. Also, I really want to use this and this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, which, oh, but it doesn't have green in it. Hmm. What does this one say? Oh, this one is blue and yellow and it has silver foil. Hmm. I did want to use that one, but I don't think I want to bring in all four of the colors. I think that might be too much. So let's pull out this one and this one. And then are there not any... So I was thinking about taking this, I've done this a couple times lately and I really like it. Um, taking this and like cutting it into strips to like add as an accent in a couple places, but I'm not really sure. So we'll come back to that. Also, if you were a teacher, this is like the cutest book ever. And I think it would be so fun to use. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick these down really quick. So how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm filming this and it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about that. I, It's been really weird. I've been off. I don't know if you've been following along, but I've been off from work. I'm like in between jobs right now, waiting for my next job to start. And I just, it's been so weird because I haven't been working. And so I just like, I don't even know what day of the week it is. I'm just kind of here. I don't have anything planned until Saturday. 
So I'm just like waiting for it to be Saturday, kind of at this point. I don't know. It's really strange. Um, okay. So I put that one over there and I like that over there. And then I put this one here. I didn't put it down all the way yet because I think I want to use some leaves. And I know I said I didn't want to use silver foil, but I really like these silver foiled leaves because I think they're just so pretty. I also really like these quotes on the silver foils. So I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it down right there. That's so cute. That is so cute. Also, I think I might take these bigger ones and like cut them and then like layer them over the colored ones. I saw, I think it was Karina from Karina Loves to Plan. I saw her do that and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So let's go ahead and pick out one of these leaves. So let's do this blue one. And then let's find a box. Okay, so as of right now, I just have green and dark blue on the page. This will bring in the light blue. So do I want to use the yellow or the red? Or do I just want to go with like greens and blues? I think I might just do greens and blues. But I don't want to put a green box here because there's green there. So maybe we'll do that one. Let's try it. Woo. Sorry, I hit my water bottle. <laughs> I sound like Jen from Choppy Plans. Whoops, ding, fries are done. Which every time she does that, it makes me laugh because my family does silly things like that too, like says silly things like that. And it just, it makes me laugh. It makes me think of my parents. Okay. Um, I'm okay with turning this upside down also because I'm going to white it out. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this here. Ah. One thing about these boxes is that they're like way bigger than I need them to be. So like overlapping on top of it is not going to be like the end of the world. So I'm going to take my Tombow correction tape here and I'm just going to wipe this out. I'm going to wipe this out. And then I'm just going to stick this leaf, I think, over the top. Ooh, I like that. It's like it's in the jungle. Ooh, it's kind of fun. Okay, so, um, all right. Now I have to decide on my colors. Where? Okay. So I only, it looks like I only have one green box, though. That could be a problem. I might have to bring in the yellow or the red. Hmm. Or I could do on some of the days. Hello? I know that I saw boxes that were smaller. There we go. On some of the days I could do these boxes and just like cut off the assignment part. And it's not going to be perfect because on some of them, the G touches, but it looks like actually in these green ones, it's not touching. So... That might work. Hmm. Ooh, or I could get really crazy and I could cut these apart and then make one box out of it. Hmm. Let's try that. So if you didn't know this hack, you can take these boxes and just cut off. Like if you want a bigger box and you don't have it, oops, take these boxes, cut off the end which I know I'm not the first person who's ever done this, so I'm sure you've seen it before. But if you didn't know, cut off the ends, and then you can make a bigger sticker. And it's going to be like a differently sized sticker than the other ones, so I'm probably going to have to do this at least, at least one more time. That way I don't have only this one that's this size, because that'll probably make me crazy. But, okay, so now that those are cut, I'm going to take them and I'm going to put it 
Oh yeah, it's an interesting size box. I kind of like it. Okay. I think I'm going to put it in the middle or like this middle, more middle column. And then I'm going to put um, a light blue one here, I think. So then you just line this up as best you can. And I see now that they're not exactly the same because that's not the same width. Wow, that's weird. Do you see that they're like not this? It's like the box is like cut wrong, kind of. That's weird. Also, I realized that I didn't get the green all the way off on this one. So obviously these are not going to be perfect looking boxes, but I don't really care that much because it's my planner and yes, I put it on social media. Wow. This would have been a lot easier if I would have actually like cut them straight, but that's okay. Um, but like I was saying, it's my planner and yes, I put it on social media, but it's mine. So as long as it looks okay to me, I feel like that's all that really matters. That box will probably bother me later, but for right now, we're just gonna pretend that it's okay. Cause honestly it is like, it's not, it's not the end of the world. If it's not a perfect box, like who cares? I kind of like these. Yeah. Why not? Rock on. Rock, rock, what, what? Oh, rock. Wow. That was dumb. Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> Getting back to planning now, since obviously I'm struggling with everything else today. Okay. Let's find, um, let's get a light blue box. Like I was saying, and let's get one of these green leaves. Okay. So I'm just going to completely change up the way that I put the box because I don't care that much. The white will just be in a different spot. <laughs> And I know that this like whiting out of things on boxes like makes like really bothers some people. It doesn't really bother me at all, honestly. Um, part of me wishes that I would have like whited out the lines of the box, but also like whatever. It's not going to kill me. Okay, so I do really like this here, but I also think that I'm going to take this dark blue leaf and I'm going to cut it like this. Wow, but not with those because they suck. I always want to use those because they're longer, but they're really not great scissors. So I'm just going to pray that this is going to be straight, which it's not. Yikes. Okay. Let's straighten that out a little bit. And then I'm just going to put it on the edge of the box. Okay. Whoops. Oh goodness. Okay. We'll just overlap it a little bit on the box. Why not? Cause those ones are overlapping the boxes. So that's all good. Okay. Let's do okay. I want to figure out what color I'm going to put with this because I have this green one here. So I don't want to put a green box there, obviously. Kind of want to put another green box here. But if I did that, then it would be green there. So, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's see. Okay. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I will just do that. No, I don't like that. I think it needs to be dark blue with that one like that. Maybe I'll, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. 
So I'm going to take, I'm going to attempt to peel this up from here. Oh, that actually worked really well. And then I'm going to put this here so then it'll cover up like a lot of that white out. And now I'm wishing that I would have put some of these like outside of the box because this one is like completely outside of the box, but that is okay. Okay. That's not bad at all. All right. I am going to have to put something else up there though. Like maybe, maybe one of these silver leaves would look good up there. So let's do... I really do need another box that's going to be this size, even though this is kind of wacky looking, honestly. But also, if you do something like this and that really bothers you, what you could do and what I might do later, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing it now, but maybe if it bothers me enough, I'll do it. You could take some label paper and just put it over the top of this, like cut it out to this size, and then it would be like a perfectly together box. But I don't care enough for that at the moment. So we're just going to keep going. So we'll do that one there and get rid of these again. You also, if you don't like the way the tape runner looks or the uh, whiteout stuff looks, you could take um, like a jelly roll or a Uniball Signo pen and you could do, you could use those to cover those up. Um, I'm just going to use this little piece of blue leaf that I have left. Put it right there. Okay. This is really cute. I really like these colors together. Like they're really, I don't even know how to describe them. Like I'm not sure how exactly I would describe these colors, but I really like them. Okay. I want to take this and I'm going to cut it I'm going to see if these scissors will actually cooperate this time. I'm going to cut it like I did the other one. Haha. -ha. They worked that time. It's just like down towards the bottom, like down here, they don't work very well, which is annoying, but that's okay. All right. Let's stick this up here. Maybe not the big piece, maybe the little piece. And we'll just put it right here. That's fun. And maybe we'll take this big piece and overlap it on there. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's go with that. Okay. All right. So I need another light blue box and then another one of these. And okay. What color do I want to go with my light blue box? Let's make sure I have a light blue box first, which I don't. Okay, so it looks like we're making a light blue box. Where did those boxes go? I'm sorry for all of the flipping through of this book. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's take these and do the same thing that I did with the other ones. So we'll just cut it right here. Wow, that was not straight at all. All right, that's a little bit better, I think. In theory, at least. And then we'll do the same thing to this one. Yeah, these boxes are just like cut really strange. Like the middle is not, like the sides are not the same width on both sides, if that makes sense. Which I'm sure it does after you saw the one that I put down already because it matched up really weird, but that's all right. Okay, let's put this one. So this is like almost a cluster. So I'm gonna do the same type of thing here, like make almost a cluster, but not really. Yeah, these boxes are just weird. That's kind of unfortunate, but okay. So what I need to do is line up the thicker side. That way it matches a little bit better. Or, you know, looks a little less obvious. 
kind of, not really. It's still really obvious that I created these boxes, but I'm not going to be mad about it because I'm using my stickers. That's pretty much what it comes down to in my mind. I'm using my stickers and that's what's important. Okay, let's use another one of these. And then I guess we'll use a green leaf. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I am actually like, I really love the way this spread is turning out. Like it's, you know, it's different. I feel like because of the colors, I don't want to cut this one because I cut that one. But I also don't want to put it in the exact same spot because then it looks just like that one. So maybe we will make this a little bit more of a cluster. Or I could put it down here. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to put this right there. That's cute. Okay, I need one more box and then we will be done. So what color? Hmm. I definitely need another light blue leaf, but I don't know what color box I want to put with it. Maybe I'll make another, maybe I'll make a, a dark blue, one of those awkward looking boxes. That way, at least, you know, there's three of them. Well, there's one of every color then, like one of every... Yeah, one of every color. I don't know what else I was going to say about that because it was pretty self-explanatory. Yikes. Okay, so let's cut this one down. And then we'll cut this one down. And then I think I'm just going to throw in a little bit of washi and then we're going to be done. Alrighty, let's put this one down here. That's just so weird that these boxes are like differently sized on each side. Strange. Okay. We're going to put this right here, just like that. And I love this. Okay. I'm thinking now that maybe this is too light, but it might be nice. Like it might help lighten this spread up a little bit because these colors are kind of dark. So I think I'm just going to take this. Well, I wanted to rip this more in half, but that's all right. Okay. So I'm going to take this washi and I just ripped it down a little bit. And I'm going to put it just in a couple of spots. So let's put some here. We're just going to make like, make these clusters a little bit more clustery. That is even a thing. Don't think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure I just made that up entirely, but that's okay. That's kind of fun. And then I think I'm just going to put a little bit of this white grid in there just on the other boxes. I think that'll help if I can get this undone, dear Lord. Oh, and it didn't even all come up. That's, I mean, that's fine, I guess. So I was going to rip it anyway. Okay. Okay. That was very strange. I guess the washi tape, it knew what I wanted. It has a mind of its own. Oh no. All right. Maybe there on that one. And then here. I'm really enjoying making these little clusters with washi tape lately. Like I just think it makes everything a little bit more interesting. And then we'll put this one. Mm, no, I don't like that one there. 
I want it to be, oh, that scared me. I thought the paper ripped. It was just the washi tape, which is fine because I don't really like the way that piece looks anyway. Again, back to the, I want it to be ripped and natural looking, but I want it to be natural looking the way I want it to be. Silly. Okay. And this is ripped exactly the same as the other one. So I guess that's just what we're going with. I think I'm going to put it there. Yeah. Okay. This is fun. It's really simple, but I really like it. Like, I mean, it's not like super simple, obviously, because there's a lot like happening, but it's not like, but it's not like, you know, earth shatteringly crazy. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm just going to just wipe this out, like just straight across here. Cause I don't really want it to say that because it's not like a don't forget kind of thing. And I think I'm going to put something over it actually, cause that will bother me. Um, I think I want to put this feed your soul up there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. So let's stick this back on the discs really quick. Oh yes. Why do spreads always look so much better on the discs? The world may never know, but, uh, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it that thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.